We measure people with what we know about to isolate them and how good they are. But in the first place, can you define yourself? Enter consciousness. Consciousness is not an illusion. It's our definition of consciousness that is misrepresented, false of reality. People tends to call it as an illusion because people believe that the definition is something real. If you don't know consciousness existed at all, you won't have to believe it in existing. Hence, there would be no reason to classify it as an illusion. But some scientists still fool themselves by understanding consciousness as a part of illusion. But how will you define yourself to be a part of consciousness and what it is? We feel pain and remove our hand from the stove. Are we conscious? Yes. But are we conscious completely? No, we are not. What about when we are sleeping? Neither our brain nor our body is conscious of us, but they are conscious independently. That we will talk a bit later. Because we don't have a power of multitasking, then who is conscious? No one, except the one who created us. Neither drowsiness overtakes him nor sleep. Our brain make continuous guesses to understand a thing, anything. An experiment in neuroscience where a human hand can actually be made a thing when it was tested on reality that looks like a hand and is roughly where a hand should be is enough evidence for the brain to make its best guess that the fake hand is in fact part of the body. It's not just like that where a book or when you read scientists have discovered that the human brain is so used to reading that it doesn't matter what order of letter it has been written. So right now the thing that you are actually reading, the words are exact, but the letters are arranged in a different manner. So brain actually make guesses for what it's being there, but actually when it founds that it is, it becomes a reality. The present you is conscious, but if you begins to define you, you need to remove the blanket of consciousness which is difficult because in the first place you are a part of consciousness that is why we measure people by the people who measure themselves by you but by any measure it has no meaning at all if you think about it it's really deep and beautiful how we think that we exist and yet we don't we are just our consciousness using the physical world in the end, what we are, that we are not just our body and mind. We are more than that. And as always, thanks for watching.